Brian. Wow! Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We are five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever. You focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's hard to believe, folks. We're kicking into May. Gotta love it. Always do your best, but don't overdo. When you overdo, you deplete, you deplete your body and you go against yourself, and it will take longer to accomplish your goal. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials closed down 174, NASDAQ off 29, S&P's down 23, gold contract down $1.50, trading at 13.05.30, silver up 25 cents, $16.29 an ounce, light sweet crude up 46 cents, $67.71 a barrel, notes and bonds, you had the 10-year note up two ticks, 119.14, 30-year bond down seven, 142.30. King dollar, king dollar up 400 ticks, trading out at 92.655. The euro is at 119.42 to one US dollar. The yen is at 109.93 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Wanna know what's going on in your world? First, we're gonna go to the world to the dollar. Why the dollar? Okay, so we had the Fed come out with this statement. It was a dovish statement. That being said, guess what? You know, and as soon as it came out, you had the dollar pull back. Bottom line, dollar went from a price point of 92.510 down to 92.04, came roaring back. We've done 37,000 contracts out here, 38,000 contracts. You know, you busted through the, this one swing point from the 9th of January, which is the 92. Bottom line was game here is 93,480. And right now, you can see we're at 92,655. Now, we're going to put this on a continuous contract. So, we take this in because we have lots of divergence out here. That's what we're going to be talking about here, like how this is going to shake out, because we don't know how it's going to shake out. What we do know is that the swing point uh, on a weekly basis. So first off, you get the swing point on the daily basis. That baby out there is at, what did I just say, 92 point... One second. Yeah, 94.10. No, it wasn't 94.10. I see what's going on. Okay, this is, yeah, let me do it this way first. When, what happens when I put this on a continuous contract, folks, you get different numbers, uh, slightly different numbers, but that's, let me put this on a continuous first. No. Okay, so, yeah, 93,480. So, 93,480, keep that one in mind. That's, that's, that's one on a short-term basis. Now, when we take King Dollar and we put this on a continuous contract, what we have is this. King dollar, first off, is in a confirmed ABC structure on the way down. It broke the B point, broke it with volume, and we did break it. Now, this is where it's going to get interesting. We broke this in January. We just jumped on the other side of it. Yeah, we did. Okay? So now this is a complex ABC down. So that what's going to get intriguing here, the real question is going to be, do you actually do a dead cat bounce up to 95, which would be pretty intense. Um, that being said, bottom line, if we take a look at this, we put this back thus far, this has been a, so this is a strong retracement. This is right at a 0.618. It's a, at a 0.618 retracement from the high that was generated out here in October to the low. Bottom line, I think it's going to go a little bit further. Okay, so now we're going to go from there. And we're going to jump into the bond market because the correlations here are pretty intense, meaning that they're not correlating at all right now. So the bond market, which absolutely should be destroyed um, if, in fact, these interest rates are going to continue to go up, guess what? Are not destroyed. <laughs> uh, the bond market, the 10-year yield, has been saving itself at this 119.14 number, and that's right where we're at. 119.14, you've done 1.2 million contracts. That baby is saying that, guess what? It still wants higher price, lower yield. The 30-year bond, that's the 10-year note. The 30-year bond 
bottom line hasn't sold off at all. It never made it to its low of 140, 114. At 142.29, that is saying that also wants higher price, lower yield. Now, let's go into the gold contract. So what do they do at gold? Gold contract gets sold down. Um, gets sold down good, too. You know, bottom line is that uh, we got up to 13.14. Uh, you closed at 13.05. Um, and this is where this gets dicey. The reason being is that we did have an expansion of volume. So the real question is, is that were you pushing higher with volume or were you pushing lower? You know, that's a, it's a toss-up. You know, because we got up into where the, the swing point where it broke down from, which is 13.09. We got to 13.14. Um, you know, that being said, bottom line is there's lots of strength on the other side of this where we went top side in December of 2017. We take a look at the silver contract. Silver actually is giving us the most amount of information where that was up 26 cents. Silver is trading at $16.39. You get 96,000 contracts traded. You know, anything above $16.31 is saying silver wants higher price. When we take this and put this together, in the aspect of um, the of how and what the Fed is saying, um, it's going to be a fight. And specifically, what I mean is this: the dollar is either going to give it up, or the metals are going to give it up. Thus far, what we've seen is this: the metals will pull down from 1369. We're at 1305. That has pulled down. That being said, the actual equities haven't. You know, the GDX is still trading where we were trading back in um, April 11th. And what the GDX is saying, it wants higher price. It pushed higher today with volume, gave it up in price. It's still up seven cents, but it gave it up in price. It had a high out there at $22.77. Bottom line, that's still saying it wants higher price. Why? Because we do have a high volume high trading out here on the 25th. So I expect what we're going to see out here in the next uh, couple days. And this is how this is lining up. Because we're coming into Thursday and Friday, I expect high volatility in all three of those. And market-wise, you know, the, the larger indices, folks, they want lower price. These larger indices are looking to go after the lows of February 9th. Metals, to me, are going to win out. They want higher price. The dollar, we'll see what happens there. Bonds want higher price. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.